3D may be the future, but Chris Hardwick is now! Yes, the future is now! Sony televisions are some of the best on the market, and now they're out to prove that they can be the best at 3D with the Bravia HX909 series. Watch everything in 3D, including normal 2D content with an unprecedented infinite dynamic contrast ratio. There's even 240 hertz smooth motion, Bravia internet video, and dynamic LED backlighting. So, get the ultimate viewing experience for 3600 bucks. Uh, hey, you, you know, right, right at the commercial, uh, Kevin was quickly trying to get uh, tinfoil penis tin time, penis time the travel. Tinfoil penis time travel. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, some people are hopping in. It's, it's a hard one to type quickly when you're coming yeah. back from break. But... And it also, takes up, it also takes up most of your tweet, wait, too. Wait, wait, that's the carbonite love key, but it, yeah. get the pound sign tinfoil penis time travel. Uh, I love when they clip this. When they clip this, someone's gonna click on a Sony TV review and see a carbonite key penis. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, sorry, internet, but whatever. Well, um, I don't know how the 3D works, but I figured out a weird way to time travel. Yeah. Uh, Sony's new monolithic design, as they're mm -hmm. calling it, uh, it makes this one of the sleekest we've seen. This is just under three inches thick. Uh, some inputs are on the back, some are on the sides. You have two HDMI's there, so depending upon your, your system setup, you may or may not need to drill giant holes in your wall to mount this thing. But the monolith design also gives it a uniform feel. Are you a fan of it though, Chris? I gotta say, I think this design is so sexy, it's gonna make the tinfoil that much easier to put on. Oh, you know, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice. at the signing of the Declaration of Independence in no time. <laughs> I think it's great. I like that it just kind of blends. You can't really see where the borders of the TV are. Right. It's, just, it's just one, you know, like, the more I think we can simplify uh, the looks of our, uh, the aesthetics of our technology, You don't better. want exhaust ports and neons and trailing LEDs and things <laughs> like that? See, you'd think that, but no, actually, no. I, think it, I think it looks really cool all this right. way. Well, not only is this TV 3D, it has, of course, all the streaming Bravia content. Um, how well do these work? Have they gotten better? Are they pretty much the same? I, you know what? They're actually pretty solid. Uh, Sony's 3D is good. It is not the best that we have ever seen. Um, the ghosting of a second image or crosstalk. You know it's not a good thing when they actually have a term for it. Right. And, and we have a problem just, that happens yeah. so much, we need to give it a name. Uh, <laughs> bad, bad 3D is stupid. Let's call it crosstalk. Yeah, that exactly. sounds like a, like a thing. Uh, it's visible some of the time, and the glasses flicker just enough to annoy you. But again, it's not all the time, but it will happen sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's not better than Panasonic's 3D. It is definitely more watchable than Samsung, so it's kind of sandwiched right in the middle of those two. Uh, the Bravia internet content is always something we really like, mainly just because there's so much of it. Right. The interface is also, again, really, really easy to use. Uh, oh, but wait! And also, you have the up conversion of normal 2D to 3D. Right. Um, so the notion is that you can watch practically anything in 3D. Are you actually going to want to do that, though? Because I imagine it's headache and it's, it's not amazing. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not amazing. Um, it, it's interesting. Not necessarily something that you would want to watch for long periods of time. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, you might want to show yeah. off that you can do it. Right. And then when people are like, that's awesome, you're like, but don't ever ask about it again. <laughs> uh, you'd never try to watch everything with 3D uh, up conversion. Right. So somehow the dynamic contrast ratio is not 5 million or 6 or 7 million to 1. They're calling it infinite. Yeah. Infinite to 1? I don't know. But does it? Yeah. Uh, we really lost the ability to tell, I think, after four million. <laughs> they, but... might, they might as well say double infinite. That's yeah, not yeah exactly. really matters. Uh, so here we are. It's double infinite. Does that mean it's amazing? By the way, we'll never look back at this video and think that this was silly. Oh, so someday in the future? Well, yeah, someday in the future, we'll never look back at this show, let alone this concept, yeah. and wearing these glasses and go, what were they thinking? It definitely, it, it definitely uh, feels like some 40s newsreel, like, the future is right, now. Exactly. Like, it's <laughs> these big, they're heavy, too. Yeah. They're heavy. They're heavy, and they're they heavy, pinch your head. And they clamp onto your temples like, Device and then right. after, you know, like you're gonna see part of the 3D movement is a bunch of people are gonna have raccoon eyes because yeah. these things are gonna create indentations in the face. Mm -hmm. We're gonna modify our species. We're gonna modify our species um, a little bit. Um, but anyway, but with that said, the picture is amazing, right? It is. It is. It is really great. Uh, this has some of the smoothest picture quality that we've seen. There's meaning there's fast moving scenes that look incredible because the details that you can pick out, blacks are incredibly deep. Colors are super vivid and accurate. Um, one complaint, though, there's a little bit of washout from the LED backlight in, in some of the darker scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, it is practically perfect. Infinitely perfect. It's infinitely say. perfect. Uh, it's pricey. $3,600 bucks yep. for a 52-inch HD TV right. at that price, even right. with the, the fancy eyewear, which I think is bundled free for the next two days, and then you have to pay for it after that. There's oh, well, like that a promotion seems, going on. That but, seems reasonable. Yeah, totally. With all that said, <laughs> what are we giving it? And, and by the way, this is again, if you get like two and then a third guy comes over, you're like, you're SOL, buddy. Yeah. You're not watching. You're not, you're I not hope ready. you like blurry television, because that's <laughs> what you're going to get.
but even with all that said, I'm still going to give it a four out of five. I mean, yes, it's expensive. The 3D isn't amazing yet. I think that just speaks more to where we are with 3D, with 3D as a technology. Yeah. Uh, still one of the best televisions that we have watched.